Hi kids, it's Nana Party time and tonight I am reading the story called Too Many Fairies, A Celtic Tale. There was once an old woman who hated housework. Wash the dishes, sweep the floor, make the bed, do the knitting. One day she began to grumble. Work, work, work. How I hate it. How I hate it. How I hate it. No sooner, sooner were these words out of her mouth than there came a knocking. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. The little old woman opened the door and in rushed a little fairy. And there's a little fairy right there. The fairy raced to the sink and began to clatter and bang away at the dishes. Clinkity, clinkity, clink. Wash, wash, wash. Clatter, clatter, clatter. And there's the fairy washing her dishes. Well, if she's going to do the dishes, I will sweep the floor, said the old woman. But still, she grumbled. Work, work, work. How I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. And right away she heard. Knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in, you'll work no more. Another fairy ran in, snatched up the broom, and began to sweep dust all over the house. Swishy, swishity, 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 swishity. Well, then I will make the bed, said the old woman. But soon she was grumbling again. Work, work, work. How I hate it, hate it, hate it. Knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. A third fairy rushed in and began to shake the bedclothes. Flumpity, flumpity, flumpity. Then I will work on my knitting, said the old woman. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Work, work, work. How I hate it, hate it, hate it. But then... Knock, knock, knock. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let me in and you'll work no more. In rushed another fairy and snatched up the knitting. Clankity, clank. Swishily, swishily, swishity. Flumpity, flumpity, flumpity. Clickity, clickity, clickity. The old woman was surrounded by rackety fairies. These fairies are driving me crazy, she yelled. Fairies, stop! And suddenly, they stopped. The house was quiet, the bed was made, the floor was swept, the dishes were done, the knitting was finished. Thank you, fairies. But before the old woman could have finished thanking them, the fairies began to tear everything apart. They ripped up the bed covers, dirty the floor, tore up the knitting, and smeared up the dishes. Then they begin all over again. Clankity, clankity, clank. Swishily, swishily, swishily. Flumpity, flumpity, flumpity. Clickity, clickity, clickity. They will never leave me alone, shouted the old woman. Too many fairies. She rushed to the village. Wise woman. My house is overrun with fairies. They won't stop working. Oh my, said the wise woman. They've come to help. You haven't been complaining, have you? Well, maybe at first. Oh no, you'll never be rid of them. Well, here is what you must try. Stand outside your door and shout, Fairies, come quick. Fairies, come quick. The fairies will run out to see what is happening. You must jump back inside the house and lock the door, then quickly turn everything all topsy-turvy, broom, dishes, bed covers, knitting. Do not open the door and never complain again. The little old woman did just as she was told. Fairies come quick, fairies come quick. What? The fairies rushed out to see what was happening. The little old woman ran inside and bolted the door. She stood the broom upside down in the corner. She put the dishes upside down in the sink. 
She tied the bed covers in knots. She pulled apart the knitting and shoved the needles into the yarn. <clears throat> the fairies were banging on the door. Your luck has come. Open the door. Let us in. You'll work no more. The old woman kept very quiet. The old woman did not move. The fairies stirred around and fussed. Broom, come open the door. But the broom called back. I'm upside down. I cannot move. Dishes, come let us in. We're upside down in the sink. We cannot move. Knitting needles, come open the door. We're stuck in the yarn. We cannot get out. Bed covers, get up and come open this door. We're all tangled up. We cannot move. Those fairies began to grumble and growl. Then your luck is gone, we'll work no more. And they stomped away to their fairy hill. At last, all was quiet. The old woman washed her dishes, she swept her floor, she made her bed, and then she sat down and began to do her knitting. But soon, work, 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 how I, and she stopped just in time, how I love it, love it, love it. And that's the end of the story. If you like that story, like the video, make a comment, and let me know that you loved it. And also, again, if there's something that you'd like me to read, make a comment about the book that you want me to read, and I will try to find it. And that is it. I will read more later on this week. Good night, kids.